Hello guys and welcome to the first episode of FIFA 15 The Italian John. Uh, now I did make a video a few days ago and uh, if you haven't watched that then um, basically I'm home for a couple of months in the summer and I was like you know what why don't I start making the Italian job videos because I know that a lot of you liked it and uh, probably wouldn't like my trademark series and it's probably the most fun series that uh, I enjoy recording. I don't even think that sentence made sense so basically you like it, I like it, let's do it. Now I can't guarantee that I'm going to complete the series because I might, I'm, I'm going to be really busy in the summer and uh, with other stuff and I'll probably just end up hating the game anyway after about 5 episodes but uh, we'll try our best. Basically if you haven't watched it before, um, I'm sure a lot of you have, it's just a road to Division 1 using only Italian players, Italian nationality players and obviously we're going to be playing in online seasons. Now um, generally I'm quite good at FIFA but uh, Ultimate Team um, this year I hate it and it's all about pace and dribbling and uh, if you've seen me play before I'm more of like possession based football trying to play some good football and um, yeah you'll know that Passini is my favourite player as well as Luca Toni unfortunately those type of players don't really work at this FIFA you know the typical Italian number 9 because they're slow and haven't got very good dribbling but anyway yeah I did buy uh, Passini for 300 coins to kick us off I got about 500 coins left over uh, hopefully he's really good. Uh, in our start pack, obviously we got loads of bronzes. We had Marquinho. Uh, I don't know what he's doing in Saudi Arabia. The legend that is Steve Sidwell. Is that his name? Yeah. Uh, and and then we got, um, we get to him, Bacchetti uh, in the pack. So we've already got two Italian players on the team. And uh, both of Milan. But uh, we won't talk about Milan. <laughs> anyway, we're going to get right into a game. I bought um, the 10 times 200 coin um, boost or something. So uh, yeah, we'll be getting 200 coins after every game. Um, I was hoping for the 1,000 coin. I don't, I don't. I'm not high enough level to get the 1,000 coin boost. I'll try and trade it over from my main account, but you can't do that because you know, EA. That's what they do. So yeah, uh, this guy. He's got. He's got Benera. Um, he's got two players on loan. He's got a 46 rated goalkeeper. So we'll try and take advantage of that. Um, yeah, he's got two players on loan. I don't. I don't know. What should we do there, guys? Um, should we get players on loan? You know, I don't think there's any Italian players. But you know, there's the likes of like Manuel Neuer, who obviously improved the team greatly. Uh, I don't actually think I can. I don't think I have high enough level for that. But anyway, yeah, this is my first live commentary in about 15 months. So I'm going to try and keep talking. I'm going to try and concentrate at the same time, and obviously try and win as many matches as possible in the series. I hope you really enjoy the series because I hope, and I also hope I enjoy making it. Um, oh God. This, this isn't going to work. Why has he paused it? Probably because the um, the camera's not right for him. Um, yeah, I want as much feedback as possible for the series, please, guys. Um, I don't know. I don't know like how long do you want the videos to be? Because I'm thinking like seven or eight minutes is a good time. Um, I think over ten minutes it, it does get a bit boring. But obviously it depends on the commentary. Right now I've just been speaking non-stop, which I don't know if it's good or bad. Um, I'm assuming it's good because uh, I was watching some of my videos back, some of my old videos, and uh, like on FIFA 13 I was quite enthusiastic and I enjoyed commentating. And I found on FIFA 14 towards the end I was a bit boring, so I don't want, I don't want to be like that. Um, is he is he even playing? Is he? I don't think he's playing. Okay. Um, Oh, Pazzini's making a run. Pazzini. Come on, Pazzini. Pazzo Pazzini with the first goal of the series. I don't think this guy's playing. Oh, he is playing. I think he just... I don't really know, but it doesn't matter. We're winning 1-0. Anyway, guys, literally straight after that I scored that goal, uh, my microphone stopped working, which means there's no more live commentary for this video. And uh, this, is, this is me just narrating over what happens in the rest of the episode. Uh, it's a bit disappointing because obviously I wanted live commentary for the, the whole episode, but uh, I have been saying I have had problems with my microphone. Uh, I've sort of got like a temporary fix, so I've, I've recorded five episodes and three of the other episodes are completely fine. And one of them is like 70% live com, 30% uh, narration. But uh, anyway, Pazzini here just goes around about three or four of the opponent's players. Really nice finish off the post to make it 2-0. And I believe at that point, um, the guy actually stopped playing. Uh, sorry, the guy actually quit. He rage quit. And uh, we did get the win there. Really nice finish here off the post. And then Pazzo, Pazzini. Uh, yeah, here we go. This is the guy quitting. And uh, in terms of the microphone, um, I can't. I don't have enough money to buy a new one. And... Um, I'm, I'm sort of like fixing it with like blue tack at the moment, just like keeping it in an exact position 
uh, which has been going well so far. So hopefully, um, it, like you know, it just works. Anyway, we'll go into another game. Uh, sorry, um, I did actually buy Bonaventura for 400 coins, another Milan player, uh, put him at left mid, and then a centre fence in mid. I bought Andrea Poli again, a Milan player. I'm not trying to make a Milan team, trust me. We don't want to do that because we'll probably lose every game. Uh, but um, yeah, I bought Poli for 300 coins, and Poli is actually really good. Anyway, we came up against this uh, interesting team. He's got Johnny Wee McKell, Julio Cesar, and he had the pink Daniel Sturridge on loan. So um, yeah, he's, he's, he's got some better players than me, but obviously I got the chemistry. And um, anyway, Pazzini, lovely finish. I mean. There's no denying his finishing inside the box is absolutely awesome. So uh, we went up 1 0, and then Poli here. Great work from Poli. Um, he actually loses the ball, but he plays it back to Bonaventura, who scores a nice finish on his debut to make it 2 0 after just 9 minutes. And then uh, here's Telfer, who's actually a really good player. His dribbling for a bronze, a bronze player is absolutely awesome. Then um, Bonaventura has another sh a shot on goal, but he actually scores a known goal. I don't know quite what he was trying to do there. Um, anyway, Pazzini, another goal inside the box. He's going to be banging them in all day long for us. 4-0 um, before half-time. And then nice little move here. We get Pazzini through on goal. Left foot finish around the keeper. Top corner, Pazzini, 5-0, and it doesn't stop there, lads. Telfer, this guy, he was amazing. For a bronze player, is dribbling. I haven't checked out his in-game stats, but they must be incredible, like his agility. Anyway, we won that 6-0. I think he ended up rage quitting, and um, we've got 700 coins. Oh, sorry, I think we actually finished that match. Uh, third game in the episode, uh, he's got, you know, Chicharito, Isco, Shane Long, Azamoa, some decent players, not too much chemistry, though. Um... And to be honest guys, I really don't know what happened here. Oh yeah, we play a ball here with Poli. I'm not sure if that took a deflection or not, but it ends up uh, putting Pazzini through on goal. Really nice finish there to make it 1-0 after 16 minutes. And this game was like a, it was just non-stop me scoring. Pazzini again, uh, taking advantage of the poor defence. There's the celebration for Pazzini, we love that celebration. We score another goal, Marquinho coming from the right hand side, past to Steve Sidwell, Bonaventura takes on his man, and a really nice finish here, Bonaventura is actually you know, a really good player for, how much did he cost, 400 coins, really nice player, and then one of his few attacks we actually did cut out, and we start the counter attack, and Passini passes it to Marquinho, we're going to do the uh, old 1-2 move, Passini chests it, sorry, touches it down on his right foot, really nice dink finish over the keeper, that's probably like my favourite goal that, um, I've scored in all the I've, I've recorded five episodes and that's probably my favourite goal I've actually scored in all of the episodes. And Bonaventura here again, going past the man, finishing really nicely. I think he's scored two goals in this game, I, I believe, and one on his debut as well. So he's had a really good start uh, for us. And Passini using his pace, I say pace, um, yeah, he hasn't really got much pace, but he did there. And again, Passini. Scoring for fun, absolutely amazing. So, what's the score? 7 0 after 60 minutes. We do actually get another couple of goals. Uh, Pazzini with another one here. Absolutely incredible. In the lower divisions, Pazzini will be really, really good. Obviously, when we get into the higher divisions, um, when it's mainly about pace and dribbling for a striker to actually get into space to score, then it um, won't be as effective. But we'll see how see how he goes. Uh, obviously, we've got Balotelli and Mobile. Um, if he stops scoring goals, so um, you know some good uh, upgrades we'll call it. And then what happens here? We know what happens. Patsini scores another goal, nine goals after 81 minutes. And he thought I thought this guy was gonna um, actually carry on playing because he, he no he could have quit at like five nil when it was like half time, but no decides to quit in the 81st minute when it's nine nil. I suppose he didn't want to get to like a double figure scoreline, but still you got nine minutes left. You may as well just play on and get the coins. But uh, anyway, Pazzini, he didn't have man of the match yet, he scored 7 goals, I don't quite know how that works out, and I think all Marquinho did was have 1 assist, which <laughs> is just ridiculous, you know, 7 goals, surely deserves man of the match. Anyway, um, yeah, total domination there. We got the 9 points to um, win promotion, we just need one more win for the title, and we'll be playing that game next episode, where it will be live commentary for the whole episode, so thanks for watching this episode guys, please leave a like, and uh, any feedback for the series, hope you have a good day, goodbye.